Soul Food is an African-American classic. The film featured some of the 90s biggest stars, including Nia Long, Vivica A. Fox, and Vanessa Williams. This comedy drama was released in 1997 and was directed by George Tillman Jr., a well-known American director, producer, and screenwriter. Tillman based the movie on his own family and experiences. Soul Food was, and still is, a staple in Black American cinema. The movie focuses on the lives of Mama Jo and her three daughters, Bird, played by Nia Long, Maxine, played by Vivica A. Fox, and Terry, played by Vanessa Williams. Mama Jo is the matriarch of the family who organizes a weekly Sunday dinner at her home to bring the family together over soul food after church. This 40-year family tradition would continue until Mama Jo falls ill due to complications from diabetes. She falls into a coma and later passes away. Her sudden hospitalization and death tear the family apart and Maxine's son, Ahmad, tries to do the work of his late grandmother to bring the family back together. This movie has its feel-good moments, its dramatic scenes, and complex, relatable characters, so it's not hard to see why it is loved by so many. However, today I want to discuss three reasons why Terry was not the villain that the movie made her seem. She was really the victim. Terry was the oldest of the Joseph girls, the most successful career-wise, and the most responsible. She was an accomplished lawyer, married with no kids, and she and her husband, Miles, who was also a lawyer, lived in a big, beautiful home. Watching this movie as children, teens, or young adults, Many of us did not realize the harshly unfair treatment that Terry received. Here are the top three ways that Terry was victimized. Number one, she was seen and treated as an ATM. Terry, being the successful attorney of the Joseph sisters, footed the bill for more than she should have had to in the family. She even made reference to this saying, quote, as far as you're concerned, I'm an ATM, automatically Terry's money, end quote. Terry paid for Bert and her husband Lim's wedding. She paid her mother's medical bills. She invested in Bert's hair salon. And she even provided a place for Cousin Faith to stay, which was the ultimate cause of her breakdown at Maxine's anniversary party. Yes, Terry was successful. However, that does not mean that she should be automatically expected to pay for everything. If she mentioned anything about what she paid for or declined to do anything, she was criticized for it. Now, someone who always brags about how they've loaned money or what they've done can be annoying. However, the lack of gratitude and the expectations put on Terry were unfair. Number two, she had her man stolen twice by family members. Back in their college days, Terry was dating Kenny. Kenny met Maxine and fell for her, and Terry caught the two hooking up in the back seat of his car. This caused a huge fight between the sisters. Years later, Maxine is married to Kenny with two kids and one on the way, and Terry has to deal with it. She has to see them at least once a week for Sunday dinner and at least act like she's okay with it. This is problematic because she didn't date Kenny in middle school. They were practically adults in a relationship. Terry also had to deal with the troublemaking cousin Faith sleeping with her husband Miles in their own home. Not only did she catch them in the act, but she was treated as if she should not be as upset about it as she was. It's almost as if the characters in the movie itself excused the cheating because of the fact that Terry and Miles' marriage was not in a good place, Terry was not supportive of her husband's passion for music, and she did have a mean streak. Toward the end of the movie, the family seemed to take Cousin Faith's side as Terry was uncomfortable with her presence at Sunday dinner, but the family wanted her to stay regardless of how Terry felt. 
This brings me to number three. No one considered Terry's feelings. Not her husband, her sisters, not even her own mother. Terry was practically ridiculed for most of the movie. Her sister Maxine was the main culprit. She criticized Terry for suggesting they sell their mother's home to pay for her medical bills, even though Terry would be the one stuck with the debt otherwise. She didn't consider her feelings about not wanting to have Sunday dinner while Mama Jo was in a coma, and not to mention, she stole her man, married him, and had three kids. Even Terry's own mother made a joke about how she should worry about her own husband because she was already on husband number two. That was pretty harsh. Her husband even had the audacity to sleep with her cousin in their home and then act like the victim. Cousin Faith also acted like she was a victim. Miles even told Faith not to let Terry run her out of the house while she was living with them. Terry had her negative personality traits. She was stuck up and snooty, but I feel like she still wasn't a completely terrible person. She had a good relationship with Ahmad, which could have been difficult for her given the situation. She also knew Cousin Faith was trouble and still offered her a place to stay. She seemed like she meant well, but I don't blame her for always being on the defense. I find it odd that they treated her so poorly, yet they did not mind using her for her resources. She deserved better. What are your thoughts? Do you feel like Terry was more of a villain or a victim? Please leave your thoughts below. Ciao.